Hello and welcome back to another episode of Diaries of Death. My name is Aiken and today we're continuing our World of Warcraft uh, Hardcore Server Stitches run uh, where I'm playing Frost Mage and am trying to survive in the harsh environment of World of Warcraft Classic um, against all odds, trying to not die. So, we are level 34. Uh, we are uh, as ready as ever, and we're in Strangathorn, uh, Booty Bay to be precise. One of my favorite locations. It's just incredibly funny to go through uh, the jungle. It is, however, also a dangerous uh, area. Not only because it is regularly frequented uh, mm, by PvP. There is the Gurivashi Arena and a couple of other things, but uh, just generally the quests can be dangerous as well. Uh, there are tigers in the uh, jungle that are hidden. Uh, then there are trolls, and the trolls in Strangle uh, Thorn are not joking around. They can be quite serious. There are a couple of elites, and yeah, as you can see, um, in the southern area, uh, Strangathorn is actually quite high level, so uh, level 40 here. Um, yeah, we gotta be careful. So, we're going to make our way up uh, to here, to uh, yet another Horde camp. But that's not all going to be all. We're also going to locate uh, the uh, Nessing Way camp. And uh, Strangathorn and Nessing Way in particular, uh, where really defining a long-standing World of Warcraft joke. The guy is a hunter and you just need to help him hunt and basically kill whatever uh, animal he is looking for. So we're going to do exactly that today. We're going to hunt a little bit. We're also going to fight some trolls and we're hopefully going to get level 35 on the way. The idea is to do as many quests as possible here in Stranglethorn before then eventually uh, going back to uh, well, Desolace is not yet but Hill Spread uh, getting that uh, done um, as well as maybe Rathi Highlands. Desolace there are two or three quests that we can still do so point being we now need to kind of uh, jump around from one uh, area to the other. Uh, the big red dot that you see here is the Guribashi Arena. Uh, the moment that you go into it you are flagged for PvP and you can safely assume that there is at any point in time a level 60 rogue just waiting to kill people. It always has been like that and I would be surprised if things have changed. Anyways, let's move on. Um, we got a couple of uh, singing crystal shards here. Left and right uh, from the road. Might as well do them now whilst we're moving up. Let's just see. Uh, that would be... Yeah, no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. 42. Uh, yeah, thank you. Yeah, that's going to be rough. Uh, 37. Still a little bit too high for us. Did they upgrade the level? I don't remember that uh, there were 40 odd leveled enemies here. Quest says 35. Did they redo the zone? Because it is odd that it says 35 and then every single mob here is level 40 plus. Oh wow. All right, we're going to go all the way up here and I'll fast forward that for you. All right, we arrived in the camp and boy, boy, finally we get 
more and more quests. So let's start with a couple of raptors and work our way up to the camp of Nessing Way because that's where we're going to find our first few targets. Yeah, the raptors are quote unquote just level 36, so that should be okay. Even that we're soon going to level up, that should be fine. I could go for mage armor for a little bit more regeneration, but given uh, how well we are specced in, into frost. I think actually the frost armor is by far better. We're currently rocking 900 AC. That is super solid. Maybe one more bigger uh, big quest, and then we're level 35, which will make a lot of uh, the quest substantially easier. Okay, they are social. That's interesting. Look how little damage we're taking just due to our high AC. So yeah, although nature armor would make uh, would maybe give us the chance to pull uh, instead of uh, three in a row, uh, four in a row, it would make the whole uh, thing way less uh, safe and secure. Those Raptor X and the Raptor Flash uh, are actually by, uh, both uh, quite uh, helpful. Uh, the Raptor X will become a curiously tasty omelette um, and will help us to get our cooking up. We're already at 163, so a little bit more and we can get the, the big food. The good tasty recipes. Yeah, I'm thinking instead of uh, waiting with the trade-in that we're actually trading in this quest as soon as we're done with it. Uh, that will give us the level up and will make the follow-up quest so much easier. Also, I think that killing raptors for food will be super helpful for us. Perfect situation if you can grind experience and get a trade skill up at the same time. That in itself is valuable. safe and super strong. Are these 
guy's joint. Is that a triplet? It's just a duplet. Okay. The nice part about frost armor is that it can uh, proc all of our uh, freezing effects and them being slower in attacking and just overall being super slow with permafrost is just absolutely go uh, gold. Love it. Good, I'll fast forward the last five. Let's go. Good, all of the raptors are dead. And I think we should be good to go and get they level up. Not that I always want to trade in quests immediately. Typically, I just do a big round and then get a fat chunk of XP. But in this particular case, being level 35 effectively helps a lot. yet and the wild reef is an elite quest all right we're going to go with ice shards as indicated get that sweet sweet 20 percent crit bonus on our spells and now things aren't looking as bad anymore we're going to go to messing way next uh, so fast forwarding to that all right, after quite a bit of a journey, we located Nessingway's camp. Got two quests right here. Welcome to the jungle. Got to speak with him yet again. And boy, we do have way too many quests. Which one do we no longer need? Yeah, okay, well, yet another page collection quest. That worked out so well in Ashenvale, didn't it? Okay, good news is plenty. We need to kill panther, panthers, tigers, uh, a couple of trolls, and... Over here are singing chrysaline charts plus crocodiles. Easy enough. Eh? Easy enough. So, I won't bore you with the details, but I want to showcase a couple of uh, the enemies. We're not going to see the full grind through everything. These crocodiles have nothing on us. And for once, we have lower enemies. Good. Let me fast forward the crocodiles and I show you the others. Good. So the young tigers are equally straightforward that effect killed four of them in a row with uh, just one set of mana just showcasing you how well frost works on lower level enemies 
could have potentially even gotten more than four in a row. The moment that any of our frost bolts is um, is rooting them, they are having no chance of reaching us. And you can just continue casting uh, frost bolts. Super mana efficient. I mean, haven't even really used 450 mana. Plus, the crits are starting to pop up even more. I just crit for 320. That's three in, in a row, or even four, and that's then the last one. Like I said, super efficient overall. All right, time for our next victims. Uh, Panthers this time. Uh, they aren't that different to Tigers from their ability sets. They do have Growl and that's pretty much it. With our level of armor we can go through them with relative ease. Just need to make sure that we're not pulling too many. Easy. Let's fast forward until we trade in the quests. By looking at our quests, I figured might as well just continue with hostile takeover here because these guys are having crystals on them. start the collection quest wonderful all right so what we will need to do is get up here if my memory served me well there was also some sort of a quest drop quest that can come uh, from them but for now let's just do the crystals and we should be fine long enough we can get exalted with booty base some people were doing that in classic uh, wow because it allowed them to basically do whatever they want in booty bay without punishment guards are uh, helping the side that they have better reputation with so that uh, was an easy way of just getting all the guards on your side we're going to stay at the outside here. I do not have any motivation to pull ultra large packs. Specifically, if these guys here can uh, drop just exactly what we need. Good. 
I'll just continue farming them and we're going to pass forward for you. All right, done with the first pair of quests. We'll send them in. Yeah, and our page collection hasn't really grown that far. Very moderate at this point. All right, you wouldn't believe it in typical Nessing Way uh, fashion. We're now due to not only killing the smaller tigers, but the slightly bigger tigers. So uh, we have the same tigers and the same panthers, but in the uh, two level higher variant. No longer the young uh, tigers, but essentially the normal uh, tigers is what he's looking for. On top of it, we got these trolls, which I will also start. So let's take a look at the trolls. <coughs> throw and enrage. I do have an option to deal with throw, which is standing right at the at the dead of the zone where they. <coughs> Cannot yet uh, melee, but uh, more so uh, use the ranged attacks. That's pretty much the only way of uh, dealing with that crap. Alright, the warriors do have shield bash, which is a bit of a challenge. And here comes the biggest challenge of, uh, of them all, which is the good old multi pull. This is why so many deaths are happening with the trolls. These guys are phenomenally good at getting multi pulled. Could have sheep and then saved a little bit more of my resource but just imagine that uh, with kind of a warrior and then something else goes wrong and all of a sudden you need to drink a potion just to stay alive and then a tiger adds and all of a sudden it's game over so yeah that's why you see a huge massive red uh, dot effectively over there These guys are serious contenders for some of uh, the most nasty tribes. Lucky for us, we can single pull quite, uh, quite a few of uh, them. Then it's not that bad anymore. Poison and rage and backstab. Fantastic. Backstab is always good. Even better if paired with uh, enrage. <laughs> Alright, so I tell you what, I will. Kill a couple of trolls here. Nothing big. But I would mainly go for the tigers. Just need to find them. They should be up here. Just post uh, the young uh, tigers. And then there is still the singing crystalline shards. All right, let me fast forward a little bit for you. All right, small update in between. I am 
doing multiple quests at the same time, trolls being one of uh, them. So traded in the next tiger quest, which was basically the normal tigers. And we're now at the follow-up quest, which are the elder tigers, so third iteration. And coincidentally, they share an habitat together with the panthers, the normal panthers. So we're looking uh, to kill the panthers, uh, panthers as well as elder tigers and uh, these trolls. And boy, I don't remember the trolls were that aggressive. That I, I'm actually genuinely surprised. So, anyways. Uh, mm, Strengthon Tigers down here. I think Panther is pretty much over here, so we need to go to the right where where there are more trolls. Uh, and eventually we'll run into the pan, uh, Panthers. The thing with the trolls is the moment that uh, they start being clustered up, it's becoming really, really dangerous and their respawn is also fast plus they all do have shitty abilities nets backsteps um, just overall high damage their shamans do have a flame totem that hits for 300 uh, given that we do have a thousand two hundred fifty hit points you can imagine how two or three of those shamans together would look like so yeah we're better off Working through these guys one by one. And that's exactly what we're doing. So, grinding on, I'll let you know how it goes. Good, handing in the quests. Uh, Panthers now are upgraded to Shadowmore Panthers. Uh, and we need to kill Sindal, uh, the named. Uh, the named tiger, which is not going to be easy. As for our pages, we got 1, 4, 10, 18, 1, 4, 6, 8 for the first one. Yeah. 18, 21. That's not going to work. 10, 11, 14, 16. Yeah, not even close, man. not even close okay so we still got quite a bit of uh trolls to go through and a few strengathon raptors i think i'll do the strengathon raptors now and then just teleport back to booty bay for now it's getting late but uh for you no time will pass we're just going to continue nonetheless so fast forward to the raptors Good, there we are with the raptors. Interesting enough. You always need to dodge quite a few other predators and all these apex predators are just sitting literally next to each other. But yeah, that's World of Warcraft logic. These guys are not attacking each other, although they would be eating each other. Shrug. All right, let me grind that down here real quick. All right, after a pretty long hunt, we can hand in some quests. Raptor Mastery gives us the next step. Then we got uh, the Tigers complete. And that's pretty much it. Uh, from up here now it's time to go back to booty bay all right next day for me same episode for you guys uh, we are running still a couple of quests follow-up quests uh, this time with the raptors i killed them earlier uh, for another quest but uh, we can now kill them yet again and i don't mind that <coughs> i mentioned earlier how I think uh, that killing raptors in particular for me is going to be a good thing because uh, they have eggs and meat and both of that I can use for recipes which is super helpful so let me just get 10 raptors down 
Okay, now that we're done with the raptors, that was uh, quick and rather painful for them, I decided to move on to the snapjaw crocodiles. So that's going to be our next target. And it just so happens that the crocodiles are it, quite near a camp of ogres that we also need to kill. So five of the caster ogres and ten of uh, the normal boulder fist ogres. Let's start uh, with the caster ogres. They have ward of lace, uh, which is curing them whenever needed. So which doctors they are. And despite they're slightly higher level than us, I think we are well suited to just get them down. So next up, let's just grind down all of uh, the ogres and get a couple of uh, these bad boys here as well. That's a two, in, uh, two for one in my book. Plus, if I happen to run into a raptor, I won't let him just stay idly by the side. The snapjaw crocodiles have a nasty slow. 10 years rip. So if possible, we don't want to get hit by it. Uh, for better grinding purpose, I decided to go with a armor increasing uh, elixir of defense uh, with a combination of mage armor, just so that I can sustain a little bit uh, longer. I still think that frost armor is the way to go in more tight situations like uh, with the trolls where you can always have heads but if we're fighting in these open spaces here um, I think we're going to be fine uh, with just mage armor. All right let me uh, grind ahead and get these uh, augers uh, plus a couple of the crocodiles down. All right, small update. The ogres are dying left and right, and we're very close to level up, which will be great because all of a sudden, a lot of the other quests that are now slightly higher level <coughs> will uh, get into our level range. The Mosh Orca Brute looks like he stands no chance against us. Problem is, uh, a little bit too uh, much of these witch doctors and too little of the brutes, which results me, uh, in me killing some more of the witch doctors. Good, and this should level us up. Finally level 36. Oh, so close. As I was saying, finally level 36. There we go. We're debuffing ourselves and we're putting the next uh, point into even more ruthless crits with our ice uh, spells, which will be good. So that we'd love to see that. All right, moving on. All right, time to hand in our further quests. So, raptors are done, and I think. We can hand in chapter one. There you go. That's chapter one. Um, <clears throat> chapter two starts with 10 and onwards. We have 10, 11, 18. We're missing 14, which also means page eight. 1 and 4 are useless for us, so 10, 11, and we got 21, which is already chapter 3. All right, so I procrastinated it quite a bit, 
because I didn't like to fight against the trolls, but I think now it's time to meet them yet again. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Troll time. Let's grind through them. All right, after extensive grinding, we're finally done with the trolls. Uh, that took some time and patience. They are good, don't get me wrong. They are actually, if you are over leveled, they are a fantastic source, super fast respawn. And you can grind them until uh, tomorrow come. The problem is if you are on equal level, and specifically as a cloth wearer, uh, you are taking a lot of damage. And that is what happened. Gotta be careful there. We're now going to invade uh, this uh, oil rig. <clears throat> and we're going to do it in style. That's the follow-up quest uh, from uh, the few workers that we have uh, killed here. We need to get all the way up there, get Cozy's key, and get the fuel regulator's blueprint. So this is going to be a bit more uh, challenging. Hitting my last um, armor increase flask for that. And I think I'll showcase a bit of it because uh, this is not trivial. For starters, <coughs> let's clear the area. That also means you know, water threats. And these guys, when they are in the frenzy, <clears throat> They're dealing a lot of damage. All right. Wonderful. Now. Range character is not necessarily my uh, preference, but we can make it work. And specifically since these guys have nowhere to run, we definitely can make it work. Good, being on an oil rig comes with a very astute limitation in space. And one of the biggest problems here is these guys love to run away, then run into other Venture Co. members and defect or pull more uh, them. Which makes our tactic uh, that we're just trying to overkill them in one go. And I almost forgot, so when I, by the way, when I said overkill, I mean we're getting them low and then we're just bursting them down so that they don't even have a chance to run. Uh, we need to, I think, do the shop first. slowed which means we can grind them uh, hide them out a little bit just need to be careful not to aggro additional crocodile and keep our mana somewhat in check trying to do this without uh, eating um, our topas, our mana topas. That worked out well. Uh, so triple, uh, triple pulls overall are a bit uh, tougher, of course. Uh, I do have sleep uh, dust if needed for a really, really tough pull or a quest like the Scenarion quest that we had done in Ashenvale. But if possible, if I can help it, I don't want to use it. So 
So if I'm not misremembering, this is where we should get the key. Either here or in the other house. Oh no, we get it up there. My bad. Anyways. At least I could showcase a couple of double pulls. So, just making sure there's nothing in here. I think this here is for a later quest or a different one. I remember getting into that workshop once well the triple pull was for nothing anyways moving on i'll fast forward uh, parts of the oil rig okay we're almost at the top of the oil rig now and it's important in these cases to carefully pull another one inside the house and respawn somewhere down here so very little room to work with just trying to stay healthy the doublet good let's get the format Is the key. Cool. So now we need to get the fuel blueprints. Which should be right over here. Just get rid of the geologists, specifically the wandering ones. Very good. So, blueprint is right in this house. Fabulous. And now we're moving on to do a couple of uh, Panthers uh, back here, as well as Pristine Tigers. And once that is done, I think we're more or less done with uh, the adventuring here in Strangleshorn for now because all of uh, the follow-up quests are substantially higher and I don't feel like uh, going up against orange-ish quests. So uh, let's just grind down uh, the tigers and I'll fast forward that part for you. Alrighty, so we're back with more quests to trade in. Fantastic. So what do we have? Uh, 10, 11, 18. That's, I think, not enough. Uh, 14 is missing. 10, 11, 16. Yeah, two are even missing. 
Uh, next chapter would be 18, 20, 21, 24. 18. Yeah. Okay. We're missing a page for each of them. Very good. Um, we got <laughs> a 40 elite quest. That's not going to happen. And we got another 40 quest here and another 40 quest here. So, like I said, we're nearing the end of uh, what is feasible for us. I think uh, this is also a great ending for uh, the episode. I'll just trade in uh, the quests and be done with it. We're uh, likely going to go to the Arathi Highlands uh, next uh, to finish up all of uh, the quests that we couldn't finish the last time uh, and just tie up some business. Not sure if I'm going to record that though. Uh, I'll see. Potentially I, I might uh, do because there is a new area that I want to show you. So lots of follow-up quests is to be expected here. And slowly but surely we're grinding our way uh, up the faction in Booty Bay. They start to like us, which is good. Cool. Let me just uh, do a little bit of organizing and then we're trading in the last three quests. All right, we're uh, trading in the remaining quests here. And as you can see, not only XP, but also kind of follow up. We got dynamite, by the way, which is a small uh, option to deal AOE damage if we're out of everything. Got ourselves a seven stamina ring. Not as good as the ones that we're carrying, so I'm going to use that. Um, and our last info, I will take the cooking game now a little bit more serious as part of that. Um, yeah, spider sausages come a little bit later. As part of that, uh, we're going to buy a recipe here as well as uh, talk to the, um, uh, to the inn keeper. And that'll hopefully uh, get us settled. Give me a sec. All right, so we bought ourselves uh, the jungle stew as well as raptor roast. Two new recipes. Cost us quite a bit, but it is worth it, I think, because look at that. Uh, we now can make so much buff food. Tasty omelets out of the after, uh, raptor eggs. Check. Then just uh, using up all of our a little turtle biscuits check then we got a lot of uh, raptor roast as well as uh, jungle stew and jungle stew in particular crafts two uh, per which is great i love to see, uh, you'll love to see that right so with that with me crafting i say thank you that's the end of today's episode it truly has been a pleasure we're level 36 and we're going to do a couple of interesting quests next in the Arati uh, Highlands or rather around them. Uh, have a good one. See you in the next episode and bye-bye.